Today I'm going to show you guys how to buy a 12 valve Cummins the right way. I bought this about a year ago. Uh, popped up on Marketplace. Was up for a little over a week. I made an offer and the guy took the offer. So I went and bought it. Now, everything you see here is exactly the way I bought it. I am not responsible for any of this handiwork. It's, uh, it's quite a unit. I'm going to uh, get it fired up and get it out and show you guys. But the end game here is this motor, P pump 12 valve, is going to go in our bus. So I had it running a couple months ago. So let's see what it will do. This is how you turn the fuel on going to set you guys up for a cold start going to need some booster pack So you can see it's got a luxurious leather interior, free of all the junk. Oh yeah, quality. Nothing but the best. Alright, this is the shifter. This is exactly how I bought it. I gotta remember, that's reverse. That should be drive. Oh yeah, 
Nothing but quality here. Oh no! I knocked the tire off the rim. That's a nice tire. Oh well, we'll get the jack out. Jack it up. Try and pop that back on the rim. Look at those floorboards. Ah, oh, yeah, quality. Come on. Nope. There we go. Let me show you guys how you shut her down. There it is. As you can see, it's a very refined automobile. Nothing but quality here. <laughs> Beautiful leather interior. Solid wood floors. That's how you check the fuel lines. Put that back in place. High performance shifter. Racing gauges. Toggle switches to shift. And of course, Cadillacs, we got a full-size trunk. Got the stowaway spare tire inflator. And there's a stowaway spare to go with it. We got four random tires, no idea what they're for. Bunch of junk back here. Oh, what's this? We have a 10 millimeter socket. So to keep that. Battery terminal. Glass wipes. Exactly what we need. Clean up that windshield and she'll be mint. Oh, almost forgot about the uh, little bit set. Coming around to the passenger side. We have one, two and three batteries, all of which are stone cold dead. We have what I believe is the old Cadillac engine harness. You don't need that anymore if the 12 valve, she runs off one wire. 
ashtray. Yep, that's where the car came from. That explains everything. Well, that'd be handy to have on the windshield. Uh, it's coming stuff. Those are the relays for the intake heater, hence why it was a little hard to start. Here's the factory intercooler for the Cummins. Is that a radio I hear? Oh my! Turn that down. Oh, hey, those work. That one works. That one works. We'll say that works. I can't believe the radio. What else we got? This is quality right there. You don't you don't get that in new cars. Look at that. How about the driver's side? Oh man, that solid wood floors, man. Just wow. What more do you need? Windows go down. She rolls coal. High performance parts. This is a going to town rig all day long. All right, all joking aside. The whole reason I bought this is for the motor. P-pump 12 valve. If you know about uh, 12 valve Cummins, that's the one you want. It's a 95 motor and it runs it runs awesome like that was what had me sold on it and I was able to hear it runs not like on marketplace where it's running when pulled sitting on a pallet this I physically heard it run goes down the road yes I've driven this uh, we'll cut to those scenes now But that was last year. I do believe there's like some kind of statue of limitations there. But driving this on the road last year, so we're good. But yeah. 
Next, I'm going to post the body for sale. I do believe that uh, Demolition Derby guys would love this thing. Full frame car. Body's in decent shape. One slow leak. Just a little bit of rust. Some there. Some here. Or else dent in this door. Some more rust there. Obviously the uh, the hood isn't mint anymore, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure, but I think there's some damage here. Obviously, the interior is mint. There's nothing wrong there. That's going to be like the whole selling feature on the car. And it was named before I bought it. I really do enjoy the radiator mounting job. That's quality right there. I like how obviously I have a battery that's too big in there. That back the way it was. I like how the hood's interference fit and the fan sticks out of the hood. That's cool. The dash is mint. There's no cracks here. Again, this radio though. Where is it getting this station? Interesting. Yeah, she was a nice car when she was new. Not so much anymore. Well, this is my Cadillac with a Cummins in it. I thought I'd show you guys the level of quality here before it gets taken apart. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Oh well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of a uh, comedy video. Let me know in the comments if you like it. And thanks for watching.